Hey, what is going on everybody and welcome to Fantasia for today. We're going to be jumping into another session of Epic 7 out today. Got some more RTA for you guys. Now, we're in the Indomitable season and we're starting things off with our placement matches. So we're going to jump in, see what we can do. Hopefully, since I've waited a couple days since after the season started, uh, we won't be running into a ton of try-hard players, because that's not what we really want to be doing right now, especially this early in the season. Uh, ooh, okay. I see. Uh, I will let Aeola through. I'm actually going to pre-ban the Aiden. This guy's going to ban Vildred. Okay, with a Ron profile. I see how it is. Scared of his little disciple there. Oh, this guy is, uh, this guy is going for an Angelica play, um, I don't know, is this, um, well then, I guess we'll have to go with Mort here, I'm not really sure what to make of this, if this is a newer player, but they should be matching you based on your previous rankings in, uh, the last season, right? So... I don't know, but if this guy's going for Angelica, I don't really know what to expect from this. Let's go with... Do you want to go Ahmed, though? I don't really want to come off as, like, trying too hard, but I feel like I'd be gear-gapping them regardless, right? So let's go for Ahmed. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, A-Roz, okay. Well, at least they have A-Roz built. Sigret. Alright, this guy is definitely going to be using some Wyvern shenanigans. Uh, which means we should probably try some fun things as well. Let's go Arunka into this. Alright, we'll still be picking some Elemental Advantageous uh, units. And I think we'll go for... They don't really have debuffs on their team. Ooh, I think this A. Coley, I think A. Coley would be really fun here because she is stealthed and we can definitely take advantage of that. Oh yeah, this guy's definitely using his Wyvern team. Feel a little bit bad about this. Ooh, he's going for the Arbiter Vildred, huh? Arbiter Vildred, so let's see, what other kind of character do I have that might be fun to use here? Do we use Bag Cat Armin? Perhaps we use Bag Cat Armin. Okay, and I don't know. Do I ban the? Do I ban the Raz? I feel like that's one of his stronger characters. Maybe you ban. I'll let him have the Arbiter Vildred. Maybe we'll ban Mui. Yeah, we'll ban the Mui. We'll let him have his Arby. Or oh, there goes my Ahmed. All right, can we actually survive this? Is the question. Who do I want to counter attack? Let's go for the Arunka here. Yeah, let's go for the Arun Oh, wait, no, but it gives a, she gives a crit damage buff, right? So maybe we go for the Mort instead. Yeah, let's let Mort just counter more. Okay, we'll let him have his Arby. Alright, Mort gets to go. Uh, quite surprising, but that's okay. We have 220-something speed. My A. Coley, by the way, is extremely slow. She is just a... on a tank buster build. So we're gonna go straight for the Angelica. Feel a little bit bad about this. <laughs> There's an idol's cheer. Do we go for the AoE? I think we do. Okay, provoke the cigarette who's attacking. Mort will counter. Alright. Oh, there we go. He is playing this out. Very, very nice. Going for the S3. We're still countering because of the bad cat Armin. And I'm just gonna rip Arunka's S3 into the Angelica. I don't think this will kill, actually, funnily enough. <laughs> um, yeah, good job, Arunka. <laughs> oh, that is... That is some pretty bad damage there. Okay, let's see what... Uh, Angelica's probably gonna pop her S3. You're pretty tanky. This guy's probably got a good, decent Wyvern team going on. Our goal is to get rid of this uh, this Arby here, so let's hit the Angelica. The Idol's Cheer is going to push up the Arby some more. Uh, did Raz S2 yet? No, he hasn't. The immunity is from the Angelica, so he's actually going to hit the A. Coley. Uh-oh. There we go. He's got a barrier. Um, 
Hmm. Let's go for the Angelica. He might actually win this. <laughs> My team is absolute garbage right now. Uh, yeah, let's just go for the AoE. Oh, he's on Moonlight Dream Blade. Look at that. There we go. Look at this RB go. Okay, I'm glad that his RB is actually pretty decently geared here. And the immunity is actually stopping me from doing some shenanigans. Oh, there we go. Got the anti crit buff up. Unfortunately, we are still just blinded on everybody. Oh, he's actually attacking the uh, the Armin here. Okay, who do we go for? Do we just we just let the barrier expire on Arby? And we'll just hit uh, the Angelica. Uh, I don't. Ooh, it increases the defense, so I guess we'll go for this. At least increase the defense and give a barrier to everybody so we can starve off some of the damage that's going to be incoming. There we go. Okay, might as well hit the Angelica, because Arby's right there anyway. Okay, so he gets another turn. Oh, there's the counterattack, very nice. Alright, so hopefully Raz. Okay, good. he does not have his uh, S2 just yet. This is actually much closer than I thought it was going to be, which is pretty funny. Um, a part part of that I think is to blame is the uh, Aruka's damage on the Angelica. <laughs> Literally anybody else probably could have gotten that kill. There we go. Took out the Angelica. Arby's gonna go. Oh, he's gonna soul burn this too. Unfortunately, he doesn't have Alexa's basket, so there's no chance for Gab here. But there you have it. I'll give him the win though. This guy, pretty good stuff. Well played, well played. Yeah, I'll give him the win there. Because why not? Right? Well played to that guy. He's using his Wyvern units. Right, and he put up a good fight, you know, he had his Arbiter Vildred and everything. He wasn't even fully awakened Arby, and I'm pretty sure he's working on farming more gear for him. So if you guys are, you know, if you're trying to get into RTA, just hop in, have some fun, use the units you have, right? You saw what he was drafting, just Wyvern units, go for it. Um, and even though, you know, uh, there is a gear gap, definitely, between me and him, his units were still doing pretty decent damage, he had some pretty decent knowledge of what to go for, right, with his uh, skills. Taking out the A. Coley so she can't stealth again, and uh, hide in the back lines. Not too shabby, I would say. Alright, this guy banned Lua, and we have Aiden banned, so who would I go for here? Perhaps we go for... Perhaps we go for... I kind of want to go for Ahmed. Yeah, I want to first pick Ahmed here. Just to try to enable some teams. Okay, see Lilius getting uh, snatched up, which isn't too bad. Oh, Aeola getting picked out as well. I'm not a huge fan of this. Why do, why do people have to go for Aeola, man? It's... Anyway, it's placement matches. Alright, what do we do? This guy seems like he's trying pretty hard. What are we doing to this? Um, Celine? Celine could be okay. Politis could be okay. C. Lilius, huh? C. Lilius, Aeola. We can go. Li we can just go stuff like Lionheart. I keep going for knights when I go for Lionheart. Uh, let's go Lionheart. And let's go for a knight in this case. Uh, I'll go for Arwell. Okay. I'll kind of tank up a little bit against this guy. He's playing a bit of control shenanigans. Lionheart is pretty decent to see Lily as well. At least be able to uh, have some burst damage every few turns. But now my opponent needs to pick a damage dealer somewhere here. Ah, uh, Sylvan Sage Vivian. That is fine. That is fine. I can play along with that. Okay, and Bellion. Ooh. Bellion and Sylvan Sage Vivian. Okay then. 
Do I want to go for Rylet here? No, actually. See, Lilius and Aeola actually make that kind of tough. What do I want to go for? Sylvan Sage Vivian. Bellion. What would I go for here? Destina? I feel like Destina wouldn't be too bad. Right? Destina wouldn't be too bad here. And I need another really strong DPS carry into all of this. Man, I want all I want to do is go for Spez and have some fun in here, but apparently that's not possible right now. Uh, Carrot's pretty good into this team, actually. Yeah, we'll go for Carrot here. Try something a little bit different. But Carrot's pretty good because you can bop the Sylvan Sage Vivian with some burns. Bellion will also be stacking burns on herself. Yeah. We're going to ban this Emerald Calric. A little too toxic. Emil Calric with Aeola and C. Lilius. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, there we go. We have two soul. We basically keep Carrot alive and we're good, right? <laughs> Can Carrot solo this? I don't know, but this is a Carrot solo. Okay, good. C. Lilius gets to start off. It's a 20 KHP C. Lilius. You might not have the effect uh, effectiveness to yeah, debuff my Ahmed, so we're gonna be just fine here. He's gonna push back the carrot. I oh no, he's gonna try to push back the Ahmed. Okay. Well, we can go ahead and buff the skill and I'll push up the team. Right? And I'll go for this on the carrot. Because why not? You give her the attack buff. Yes, Aeola can strip stuff, but it's okay. Because carrot is on Etika Scepter. We just want to stack burns. If we can stack burns on that Sylvan Sage Vivian, we're gonna be looking real good. And if Aeola pushes herself up, there we go. So now, I'll let her use her S3, which is fine. We're going to stun the Bellion, I believe. I don't really care if Sylvan Sage Vivian takes a turn here. Destina will not get debuffed. Uh, what I'll do is I'll cleanse the Arwell, because I do want her to have the Escort buff come up again. Carrot can cleanse herself over time, but I do need her to have the Escort buff, and we're gonna hit the Bellion. Full strip her, look at all those buffs that are on her, right? We can hit this full buff strip, there we go, and get the stun, that is gonna be very, very nice. Alright, Vivian's gonna be going for her S3, but we're good. Okay, good, she's getting burns. Uh, let's go for the bop on the Sylvan Sage. Good, speed down as well. See, look, the burns don't really care about her damage mitigation. We still get to uh, chunk off a decent amount of HP there. It's going for the Ahmed, but that's okay. Might dual attack into her. Yeah, Ahmed's already kind of done her job. Guardian Ice Crystal is helping me out a little bit. Let's see, let's go for the hit on... Let's go for the hit on the Aeola, let's kind of strip her skill null there. Okay, and I think I'll go for... let's just hit the Aeola again so she doesn't push herself up. I really don't want her to turn cycle me. So we'll just keep hitting her with all of our units. If we can proc an Etikas, no Etikas proc. Oh, but we don't need it, we have an S3 again. That's fantastic. Okay, so let's pop this, and hopefully get some more burns onto this Vivian. No, only one! Oh, Aeola almost went down. Almost. But we got a good amount of burns on everyone else. This guy's trying to control Ahmed really, really badly. Okay. That's alright, let's go for a buff strip on this Bellion. So no crit damage buff, less damage that's gonna come into our team. Sylvan Sage already lost her buff, so it's fine. Alright, Bellion's popping her S3. We're gonna get provoked on Kara, but she's gonna cleanse it. Yeah, as you can see. Uh, wow, this Bellion has... Wait, this Bell... Are you kidding me? This Bellion has effectiveness? My Ahmed, for reference, has about 175 effect resistance. So for, for the debuffs to land here, that's kind of ridiculous. Um, but... <laughs> I think you realize, with Destina's revive there, Carrot would have definitely soloed the team. I don't know why he was trying so hard to control Ahmed, even though after she's already popped her skills. He should have been focusing all of his damage onto the Carrot. Um, but Carrot does have self-cleansing, self-healing, self-barriers, so it would have been a bit tough for him to burst through that. She also has damage mitigation if she's above a certain threshold of health. 
Oh, is this guy going Giselle? That'll be pretty nice if he goes for Giselle. Nope, I'm gonna go for Arwell. Well, if they go for Arwell, I'm okay with that too. We'll go for Ahmed. Again, I'm trying to get a Spez game in. Oh, if he goes for Aroz, I'm definitely taking that Arwell. Oh, he's gonna go for the Arwell. Alright, let's go for Ahmed, and if I want stuns, maybe we go Pirate Captain Flan, but I'm gonna need Ed. If I'm gonna go for this, I'm gonna need Ed, right? So we're gonna pick Ed here. We're gonna go Pirate Captain Flan, Solitaria, and Spez, and we're gonna hope for the best. <laughs> gonna just hope for the best. What I could also do is we can go for... Um, the DDR, Solitaria, and Spez together, because that that actually allows me to go for a lot of... What is this guy going for? Oh my god. Okay, if he goes for Rylet, that's fine. But the Bunny Dom, I'm actually a little bit scared of. The Bunny Dom is a pretty decent counter into Ahmed, I guess. It puts up the immunity and barrier, which I don't want. I really don't want that on my opponent's side. Oh, he's going for the shoe. Okay, so I really don't want the Bunny Dom, we're probably going to have to ban her, but we can go for Solitaria, we can go Pirate Captain Flan, we could probably go DDR, maybe Solitaria and DDR, but that's two Soul Weavers, I don't know if I'd want that. Solitaria, DDR, Ed, is that good enough into this team? Maybe. Because I can last pick Spez here, we'll go Solitaria. And maybe I can go... Uh, it's either DDR or Pirate Captain Flan. I feel like we're better off using Pirate Captain Flan. I think we're better off using Pirate Captain Flan. And then we can either last pick DDR or Spez. I'm gonna try to go for a Spez play, but there's no guarantee. It depends on his... Like, one of his picks here has to be a weaker pick. If both of these picks, like, counter me then we're in trouble, because I really need to ban this Bunny Dom. Actually, I don't really need to. Ahmed just can't use her S2 to push up, but if he's going relatively slow... Mm, don't know about that C. Lilius, though. Oh, okay. Alright, Spirit Eye Selene, maybe we can do this. Uh, do we go Spez? I think so. I think we go Spez into this team. Because he has Extinction, right? We can prevent the Spirit Eye Selene from doing things. We're going to go for this ban. All of his units are pretty slow. Unless this is like a 280, 290 Spirit Eye. Or if she has um, that artifact, Selene's artifact. So she can push up after Ahmed uses a non-attack skill. Oh, but he's banning the Spez. No! Cowards. Cowards. Okay, maybe we'll just do something like maybe we'll just do something like this. Ahmed will uh, share the damage with the uh, Pirate Captain Flan. Okay, uh, let's just go for all of our skills. I might actually do this. Now watch, we're gonna give this buff to Pirate Captain Flan, the Swift Attack buff, because she gains 50% Comet Readiness after S3, so we get to S3 and then immediately nuke somebody. Uh, what I'm gonna do is actually stun the shoe, because I don't want her to counter into my Pirate Captain Flan. There we go, very nice. We can pop our S3. Nobody has immunity, so we're gonna be able to push everybody back. Uh, we should be able to bop the Spirit Eye Selene right off the bat. Oh, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Who do we go for here? I think we go for... I think we could just go for, like, the Arwell. Just kind of get rid of that barrier there. I'm gonna bop the Spirit Eye. This should take care of her immediately. Yep, there we go. So she is gone. Uh, everyone has skill null, so A. Ravi is harmless this turn. There we go. Uh, I don't know who Arwell's gonna try to stun. If he's going for ooh, if he's going for Pirate Captain Flan, I don't think he should have A Ravi S1 into her, right? Because Arwell would already break the skill null. So that was kind of a waste of A Ravi's turn. He could have broken somebody else's skill null there. But let's hit the shoe. Alright, now we can just try to control this A Ravi, if possible. Just 
put on the debuffs, right? Laramon, she's on Proof of Valor, she can't really do too much. Okay, and what I'll do is I'm gonna soul burn this into the Arwal. Aravi and Arwal, by the way, are gonna get stunned next turn, so we already lose a full turn. Shu as well, after she gets stunned here. After the stun wears off, she will also get uh, bombed on the next turn. So we are perfectly fine. I'm just gonna try to get rid of this Arwal though. Right, and we'll turn cycle our Ahmed, so hopefully we can get skill null up. Ooh, nice. Oh, that's a nice detonation there. And I'll keep hitting this uh, Aravi, because Shu can't counter. She hasn't popped her S3 yet. Alright, and I think what I'll do, Shu's gonna get stunned anyway, let's finish off the Arwell. That dual attack literally meant nothing. <laughs> oh boy. There we go, so she's stunned there. And now Ame can pop S2, we can replenish our skill nulls. And we can put the swift attack buff, let's put that on, ooh, Pirate Captain Flan has S3 again, we can put it on her. There we go, so now we can cycle our S3 and shenanigans. Let me just soul burn this into the Aravi. She's all stunned and everything, so it's good. And look at her fighting spirit, so, so low. Let's go ahead and stun the Shu, so that she won't be able to counter with my Pirate Captain Flan's S3. Look at his disgusting control team, and then look, Pirate Captain Flan gets to pop her S3. We'll be taking the turn immediately, because of the swift attack buff, and then we can try to bop this Aravi. There we go. I honestly don't know why this guy is still here. Um, I feel kind of bad. <laughs> but it is what it is. And we're gonna punish this, uh, this bruiser comp. With all the disgusting units in there, right? Aravi, the shoe. Right, so hopefully this finishes off the shoe here. And there you have it. Okay, <laughs> I know, I know, quite disgusting, um, but hey, this is why you, you gotta have a cleanser in your, in your team comp somewhere. Okay, uh, this guy, ooh, we're fighting against a silver player now. Uh, what do we do? I think, I think I still ban Aiden. I'm, I'm really enjoying not fighting the evasion teams. Alright, see Lilius. Okay. Uh, see Lilius getting picked out means we can go. We can still go like DJB Arwell. I feel like that's still okay. We'll go DJB Arwell, because DJB has a stun on his S1, Arwell has a stun on her S3. We're still trying to go for a Spez team. It's like the whole purpose of this video is just me trying to go for a Spez team. Ooh, he's going for Ahmed. Alright, alright. I can get behind this. Alright, there's a Landy pick as well. Hmm. I want to go for Solitaria. I'm a little spooked about this Ahmed, though. I want to go for the Solitaria. And... Do I go for Pirate Captain Flan? Hmm, Solitaria stuns, Pirate Captain Flan. Pirate Captain Flan would be okay here. Not the worst. Go Solitaria. Do I want to go for... Ooh, we can go for Ed as well, right? Yeah, I think because he'd pick Ed into me. So let's go for Ed. Ed should be pretty decent here. I know, there's a Landy and everything, but if we get debuffed by the Sea of Lilius and Landy hits us, we'll be able to hit her out of stealth, at least. Unless she gets lucky and just continuously procs her Guiding Light. But Solitaria is probably the Force Ban. I don't think he's letting Solitaria through. <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest here. I should have picked Ahmed, though. I should have picked Ahmed into the Sea Lilius, because that way we can uh, do the swift attack buff onto Spez. He can S2, stun somebody, go for the S3. 
but now my opponent's got to really think about what to pick because I, I took his counter pick right I took the Ed away from him oh he's gonna go Calray can I really go Spez here he's that's a really aggressive team I don't know if I can Spez this yeah I don't know if I can do that uh, do we go for Rylet? huh do we go Rylet here he seems like he'd be pretty oh no but then we have to be on C Lilius if we do that Do we ban C. Lilius? You know, maybe we go Briar Witch. Yeah, we go Briar Witch. And then... Because she's going to stay alive, right? Do we ban C. Lilius here? Or do we ban Ahmed? It's either Ahmed... Oh, I think we have to ban Ahmed. Yeah. C-Dom, ooh, this guy is nasty. What a what an interesting team comp. I think we ban Ahmed, because if, if C-Lilius, oh, shoot. I was gonna say if C-Lilius debuffs the team, DJB gets to push up, and now we're in some trouble. Okay, well then, I don't think that was the right ban on my part. I was not expecting him to ban the DJB. Should have banned the C-Lilius. Um... But yeah, she's going to just pop her S3. But if she does... Okay, yeah, I was about to say, but if she does, it's going to be a bit of an issue. Because then if he AoEs, then Ed will be able to counter. So he didn't. He does not want that. He can Soul Burn and reset somebody. He can ignore Resistance here, because he has Seedom Souls and Calric Souls. No, he's just going to pop his S2. He's not going to reset. The um, My Solitaria has 100... 30 resist or something like that. Oh, but Landy's gonna soul burn. He's gonna get double. And then... Okay, I see, I see. It's a wall of order, Landy, but that's interesting because she only has 9k HP. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Alright, who's he gonna finish off? The Solitaire. I mean, my whole team goes next, so I don't know what he's gonna do. If Solitaria lives, I do have a chance to control his team as well. Oh, he can Soul Burn. Is he gonna go for the Ed? This is a very scary match. Oh, he's gonna go for the Ed. Okay. Um, what I'll do is I'll go for the stun on... I think I go for a stun on the C Lilius to prevent her from doing Vigor and the uh, Strip and the Dual Attack. Alright, because Briar Witch should be able to deal quite a bit of damage, and then Solitaria can try to control this Calric. Because we should be able to do a bunch to the Landy and the C Dom, right? Oh yeah, look at that. In fact, what I'll do is this, I'll finish off the C Dom and the Calric with Solitaria here. And hopefully we can get some stuns. Oh, we did not finish the Calric. Look at that. But we are stealth with a pretty chunky barrier. Without an attack buff, will he be able to do this? Landy's stunned as well. Calric has to just S3. Is he going to do it? Oh, he is. Briarwitch hasn't had her immortality proc, so I'm feeling okay about it. Yeah, there we go. Not even able to break the barriers on anybody. See, Lilius does get to go and S3, along with an S1. So she gets the dual attack, and Calric is hot on her heels. So we'll be taking quite a bit of damage. Solitaria could go down. Oh, and if Landy pushes, if Landy dual attacks here and pushes up. Oh no, he's not. He's just going to go for the S3. Which is fine with me, actually. I think he should have dual attacked. Okay, we're gonna need to work on this Landy here. Because uh, Solitaria is gonna finish off the Calric regardless. Because like, she's gonna attack and then she'll have a follow-up attack, right? So down goes the Calric. Yeah. Ooh, that was... That was a bit scary. But I think the going for Briarwitch was the right play. I think going for Briarwitch was definitely the right play here. Because there's inevitable amounts of damage that's going to be coming in, right? Because uh, she has immortality. And all the units that are f I was fighting were very squishy units, so that guaranteed damage would have been 
uh, more than enough to to win. All right, let's try this one here. Um, let's see. I guess we'll ban. I think we, we keep we keep banning Aiden. We keep banning Aiden. Wow, the quest for a Spez game is really <laughs> is not going too well, right? We're trying our best to pick these units that have stuns and stuff in their kit, but it's not going all too well. See, Lily is getting picked out. Let's keep going for what we were doing. Arwell and DJB, because they both, again, have stuns. Who else has a stun in their kit that would be quite nice? Ooh, you know what? Mui would be pretty fun, right? We should probably try Mui sometime. I do have her geared. Alright, uh, got Ravi picked out, which is okay. Ooh, Trollmaker Crozet, this guy's going a bit slower now. Can we punish this type of team? Can we go, like, Solitaria? And then, uh, we have to go Ed, though, if we do this. I think we have to go Ed. Unless we ban the Ed from our opponent... But no, usually if you go solitary, you have to go for Ed, unless you pre-ban Ed. So we'll go for that. We can try DDR or Spez, depending on what he goes for here. If he goes a bunch of slow units, both are viable options. He goes for a bit faster play, we have to ban the Sea Lilius, maybe. And then we'll go for Spez. Ooh, shoo, very nice. Very, very nice. Strong pick into my team right now. I'm gonna need to stun her for sure, and then try to go for a spez play. It's a good thing A. Ravi's now are on Proof of Valor, so we can stun with spez, and then we can try to go for an S3. Okay, they're not going for Arya. If you went for Arya, it would have been a little bit of trouble. Spectre to Nibi- ooh, don't go- don't go Aeola, man! Don't do that. You don't want to... Okay, there you go. Don't do... Yeah. Oh, shoot. <laughs> He's banning Solitaria, isn't he? He's banning Solitaria. We're going to go for the Specimen Says. Uh, because we can. And we'll go for the ban on C. Lilius. And hopefully... Hopefully, we will be able to get a Spez um, S3 going for us. Alright, so DJB gets to go. Ooh, but the problem is, look at that... Look at that turn order. It's not looking too great. Because Arwell goes after the Spez. Even though they're about the same speed, it's just speed RNG there. Okay, do we go for... Do we just go all in on this Rylet, or do we not? Maybe we do. Just go all in on this Rylet. Let's see if we can crit him. Oh, we can crit him! That's very nice! Can, uh, can Trozak counter and stun- Oh, wait, never mind. <laughs> okay, that was not what I expected. That was definitely not what I expected. No stuns from Spez. Uh, do we stun with Arwell? Maybe. If we do it, we'd have to go onto the a Robby, right? Prevent a Robby from taking a turn. I know, we could have held off on it until, like, the shoe popped her anti-crit, but by hitting the a Ravi, she takes the turn and loses it, so Trozette can't cleanse it, right? If we stun the shoe, Trozette can cleanse it, because he goes before the shoe. But we definitely got lucky there with that Rylet hit. So now Trozette's kind of useless in that he's not really protecting the backline anymore. He does buff the a Ravi, and here comes Shu's anti-crit buff. Alright. Oh, Spez, nice counter, but too bad uh, he has immunity on him. Alright, let's see if we can get a stun on the A-Ravi. No stun on the A-Ravi. 26k HP A-Ravi, holy, that's a lot of health. Um, what do we do? I think we just hit the A-Ravi here, let's try to get her to see get stunned. Nice little strip there, but that's a bad counter. Okay. Uh, who do we go for? I think I still go for the... Let's go for the Troublemaker Crozet. Let's try to strip some of his buffs. There we go. Defense uh, buff away. 
Trozet might try to stun the Spez. Oh, he gets the stun, but no, I don't get the stun. I see how it is. He has an S2 on the shoe. He's gonna go in on the Spez. Okay, uh, I am gonna try to blind the a Robby here. There we go, very nice. Now there's a 50-50 chance that he won't be able to crit the Spez. Let's hope he doesn't rip the S3 into Spez. Oh, he does go for the S1 and he does hit me, which is unfortunate. Do you want to push up the a Robby? Maybe. Let's get rid of that defense buff. We don't have our S3, which is an issue. I really need this stun here on this a Robby. Oh, she resisted it! Oh no, she's gonna slam this S3 into the Spez. Oh, what a shame. Oh, but we do- hey, the blind debuff did come through. Shu might finish off the Spez though, which is a problem. Oh no, he's gonna go for the R well. Okay. Yeah, Shu's definitely gonna be going for that Spez. There's no way that he lets him live. Oh, but that counter attack- oh, the Foosh as well! Absolutely disgusting. Uh, please, please don't, don't, don't hit the spez. D you don't want it. <sighs> no fun, no fun. Absolutely no fun. Okay, let me go for a hit on the shoe because I think she is the most annoying unit here. I don't think Ed can actually do this. I really don't. Oh my god, she resisted that stun as well. I think I deserve this after critting that Rylet there. I think I quite deserve this. Um, I think we just have to push up. Don't really think we have a choice. Okay, we do have our S3. We've got to finish off the Troublemaker Crozette. There we go, finish him off. Um, I think we just go for the, the Robbie here. Oh my god, look at that counter. Yeah, that's unfortunate. If that Troublemaker Crozette, if I think he didn't stun the Spez there with that one hit, we could have had a chance, right? Maybe we could have been able to stun somebody. Okay, there goes the anti-crit buff yet again, and he's just gonna focus down the Ed now. Yeah, so there you have it. My opponent takes the win here, but that's okay. We'll try again to get a Spez into an RTA match. It's just really difficult. I think I'd probably have to just pre-ban Ed or something if I want to do that. But we'll see in the next episode. So if you want to stick around and see more potential force picking of Spez... <laughs> in RTA, and hopefully not going against a bunch of tryhards who are picking Aeola and all this stuff, um, then subscribe, right, for more Epic 7 content. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you all next time. Take care.